chat videos all day, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It's just chat videos. No sound? No, it's like static -y, I no. think. At least what it sounds like. Okay. Yeah. So we will just draw a little bit. Yeah. Just drawing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's no joke. That's real. <laughs> so we're drawing our cat tower. Having a little bit of technical difficulties, but it does happen. You know what we do? We just work our way through that. And we draw, let's move it a little here. Did it go back? Mm. Things that hang down. Oh, let's ma let's draw. Let's make a let's make a little area here where the cats can come out. exciting, right? Wouldn't your cats want to play on this? Thinking about a lot of cats. Eight cats, possibly. Oh, don't forget the foliage. Cats love to have, like, little leaves and sticks. Don't forget to make trees out of these things where the cats can jump around and frolic. My cat, unfortunately, doesn't love his cat tower as much as I'd like him to. Yet, I think he's getting used to it. But you know, this afternoon, actually yesterday, I I, uh, I harvested some of his fur, and I don't know if you guys like to do this, but sometimes I do. Um, I like to make crafts out of his fur. I like to sculpt it into shapes. I often don't keep the fur. Sometimes I throw it out, but it's really, really pliable, and if you have a cat that has short or long fur, you can actually sculpt his fur and make um, exciting crafts. And I have done that. So if I could get a volunteer to just to just hold hold up this little there we go, yeah, just hold it just hold it like that. I'm going I'm gonna go and get the um, I'm gonna get the, the finger puppets that I made this afternoon out of my cat's fur. And we're going to uh, we're going to have a puppet show. So as as you can see, like you can make <laughs> you can make all these really fun shapes out of the fur, and so I've made two cats out of my cat's fur, and it looks they look very much like him. Um, I don't have two cats, only have one, but a girl can dream. And look at how they can play in these little, sh look at a little door, look at, hi! Meow! 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 Look how funny, oh, that looks so cute. Meow. So, don't be afraid to do this, don't doesn't matter what people think, okay? Just like do what you need to do, all right? <laughs> Work it out. So these these are going to be for sale um, here at the compound. This is why I became an artist, so so I can make masterpieces like this. Bravo, right? So they'll be in a Ziploc bag at the front desk <laughs> if you want to purchase them. Yes. There it is. There it is. Happy birthday to me. See what? It's so fun to get older, you guys. Like you, you probably lose it more and more. And nobody seems to mind. See, this is just perfectly acceptable behavior for a Berkeley person. Yay. Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot to put the sticks on there. Okay, thankfully I have some good quality packing tape that I can I can add. Look at I can add these sticks. Cuz the cats won't be able to get up onto the cat towers with it'll, a little bit of aid. So, this this is a true North Berkeley piece of art. 
like all of the pieces of, of that were collected are authentic and organic and hand harvested hand harvested and now we can just and our little cat sculptures will have a place to sit and we can just go ahead and <laughs> we can just we just have our dreams come true all the time on Thark World. Dreams come true here. And it's okay. And it's okay. There's nothing stressful about this. <laughs> Lovely. All right, moving on. This is for sale, if anyone's wondering. I haven't put a price on it yet, but make me an offer. It's going fast. So let's put it over here. So now we're going to do something a little more, a, a little more professional. So since the cat is the national animal of Tharp World, and I haven't done this yet on Tharp World, I haven't done a copper plate etching, and I do a lot of this at the compound. Move this stuff aside. But I haven't done it on the show yet, so I thought I would show you guys how to make, how to, how to pr print a copper plate. This has already been etched. I'm going to move my little pieces because I've got my little cat pieces that are going to go on here later. So let me show you what this looks like. This is a copper plate and it has, um, it's been etched with a hard ground which means it's like a hard wax and I've carved into it, put it into a corrosive bath and the, the lines that were left in the, in the wax have been eaten away so you have a really nice um, fine line drawing in here that's like right on top of the copper or like kind of etched inside of the copper. So this is a street scene. It's a boulevard. It was uh, drawn from a photograph I took in Phoenix, Arizona. So what's going to happen with this piece is that we're going to ink it and I'm going to put the cat pieces on there and then we're going to have a cat parade down the main boulevard of Tharp World. How exciting is that? So let's see how this goes. This is messy business. So I'm going to just... I'm going to show you how I do this. It gets really messy. So this is my ink. This is oil-based ink. I like to use oil because it's nice and black and really, it's really sticky, which is good. So I'm going to get a little bit of my ink. And I'm going to try to make two of these tonight. I might, we'll see how long it takes because it does take a little longer to wear the, to get the ink um, off the plate. So the, the process of this is a little different than I've been doing on the show where I draw, you know, with a plexiglass that I usually do, I just paint the ink right on and then print it. With this, I put the ink on and then I wipe it away and whatever's left in those little lines is what prints. So it's kind of a more time-consuming process. But it's beautiful too because you get a nice emboss in the paper usually. And the, pa the paper's been pre-soaked so it's hanging out over there waiting getting the ink all nice and smooth. Okay, so then I'll take my ink and just put it right on top. Right on top of the plate. These are so much fun. I love copper plate actually because you can make so many multiple prints of the same plate and they can look so drastically different depending on what kind of ink you use or what kind of material you're printing on. It's just so much fun to have that always. And I made this piece, I made this print about a year ago, this, this uh, plate. And I haven't printed on it in a while, but I haven't printed anything like this on it before. So I thought, you know, if I'm going to do a cat parade, I need, a, I need a scene of a nice street and it's pretty photorealistic, I mean more or less. So juxtapose with those cat pictures, it's going to look pretty rad. So this is going to be, I cover the whole thing with ink here. It's been a little bit watered down, so I hope it's opaque enough. I'm pretty sure it's kind of watery. Okay, now, this is going to be the first pass. I use a piece of foam book paper. And I take the foam book paper. Kind of 
from that day for day, honestly. I'd like to get into it. And then we will start the first process of wiping. So you can see what we're doing really is just pressing that ink into the plate. into the little line. So if I do multiples of this image today, the first the first inking is always takes the longest and then afterward there's already some ink on the plate and so it's a little quicker after that. So you can see I'm kind of wiping off just the surface and meditating in a way like this this technique is like it's so methodical and so satisfying because you get something great at the end printmaking is really great if anybody has a chance to take a letterpress class here or any I think we, we offer all kinds of like, fun classes here definitely stop in and, and take a look at that but I warn you it's addictive once you start printing it's hard to stop. It's really that much fun. Okay. So here's my Chavis, which I've kept in here. These are car called, um, this is called tarlatan. <coughs> it's like a cheesecloth type um, material. And this is used to do the second pass on the plate. So we. Start wiping the ink away with this. I haven't done this on a, the show, so I want to make sure you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm, as you can see, the ink is slowly coming away, and the image is ever so slowly being revealed. A lot of people have asked me, like at shows and things, how I've done how I've done this process. So I'm really glad to be able to to show it on like on Tharp World. Because I do so much of this here at the compound. It's kind of weird to do it so that you can see but so you can kind of tell I just are sort of wiping the ink away. So then I'll move to a cleaner piece, which will take off even more. So we'll leave that out. So this piece has even less ink on it. And you can see that it takes it takes off more of the ink. So this will be our final pass over the plate before I just use my hands to kind of get the remaining ink off of there. And sometimes at this point I like to just and there's a lot of different ways to do this. This is kind of the way that I'm sort of self-taught. Someone here showed me how to do it, but I'm sure there's a more efficient way or probably a better, you know, a better way to do it. But this way works, always works fine for me. So I figure whatever works for you, do that. But I've never, well, no, that's not true, actually. I took a class here, a really great etching class here. And I, uh, I learned to water the inks down and it was way faster, water them down with a little like extender so that it didn't take so long to wipe the ink off and that helped tremendously. I used to sit here for almost an hour trying to wipe the ink away and 
Uh, it was really, I was like, how do people make any money doing this? <laughs> this is the most inefficient way to make money and to make art that I've ever seen. And I was, oh, you have to water it down. You, not water, but like, I guess boil it down or like make the ink thinner. That's why we work with other people, you know? You have detail, then don't put it on top of something that has a lot of lines because the lines will print right through it. So now what's last, lastly, I'm just going to use my hand to wipe away a little bit of remaining ink where I want to see more detail. I want to see that special, is that Kmart sign over here? Or, no, it's like a, but it's a special K, special K is what it is. That looks really cool. So this part's really, you can see that most of the ink has been wiped away, but this part's really heavy over here. And I like that. So I'm going to leave it. I don't want to like, I kind of like where this piece is right now. I like these fingerprints here. I like all of this going on. Add like a little bit more. Kind of these cloud shapes in the, you know, in this kind of dust storm. So I think this looks really good, and I'm going to I'm going to make this full our our plate. I also want to put the cats on it now. I'm like I kind of like the way it looks on its own, but it's the cat show. It's the cat themed show, so I'm going to put cats on it. If we overdo it, we overdo it. No big deal, right? So we put our our plate right on top. This is going to be a really inky one, real dark, but look how cool that is. Oh, I think I just messed that. It's getting messier. Let me wipe that off or it's going to be on our paper. I'm going to wipe some of this stuff away. Okay. And let's put our kiddie pictures on there. I like this one to be like in the foreground. Yeah. There's not as many kitty pictures in this one, but that's okay. These are, it'll be just kind of a strange, kind of abstract. Also, we can go in afterward and color and draw and add things, which is the best part about printing on this watercolor paper is it's pretty strong and you can add all kinds of other me uh, media on top. Okay, and that's good. I'll get my paper. here. How are we doing on time? It's good. <laughs> we'll just print this one and we'll We'll call it a day. <laughs> Do I have everything? Okay, yeah. <gasps> oh my god. You guys as viewers don't know this, but Lena just saved the day. I almost forgot to sprinkle the seasoning onto my cat. That 
would have been horrible. Observe. I get so excited. Oh, I just want to print so badly, and then I just forget to put the wheat paste on. If I don't do this, there will be no cat. And all throughout the land, there will be tears and sadness. My inky fingers. Uh oh, look at that one's already. Look at this one already wanted to like hang out. All right. Oh my God. Totally stays in there. The cat, the Tharp World National Hero, honored at the Tharp World Parade of Cats is, is Lena for saving the entire parade so that it didn't blow away. If it wasn't for her, all of the cat floats would have just like blown off into the desert and everyone would just be like, oh, I guess it's, should we go home? Let's go home. Let's just go home. Should we just leave? Like, feel uncomfortable for everyone. That's what it would have been like. Everybody would have just slowly like walked to their cars and just gone home and watched watched some Game of Thrones or something. And just like try to forget what happened. Can you give us a little push for me? Gracias. Finger puppets already got me like I'm just like so distracted. I'm like I can't wait to can't wait to get back to the cat finger puppets and play the little play structure that I created. <laughs> Sometimes it gets weird on that one. We just have fun. We have lots of fun. One time I had this Victorian book and they like posed all the cats and put them in outfits. It's really disturbing, and this kind of reminds me of it, just in the way like the fine lines and like the the little kind of washed out colors of the cats. I mean, they're not an outfit, but th there's something really weird about doing that with cats. I think because cats like would never tolerate it. I don't know how they made them do it? Okay, so I'm excited to see the second one. It looks a little off center. I'm just really excited to see. Whoa, this one's really psychedelic. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. This one's really psychedelic, don't you think so? This one's weird. This one's really weird. I don't even know how to explain this, but I really like it. Wow, look at how dark and blue the cat's eyes are. So this is, this is weirder than I expected, but I, I think it's really great. And it's got my fingerprints all over it, but... I don't care. It's awesome. So this happened today on Tharp World. It, it got strange. It was like the birthday episode with cats and with, with all the love and all the sticks collected in Berkeley and just everything. So I think we're going to call it a day. I think we've done enough work and experienced enough joy that we can stop and leave while the party is still fun. But before we do, let's bring back the puppets. I've had a request, I'll go get it. So, when you're sad, which is probably a lot of the time, um, go and, and create something with the cat's fur, so that not only when the cat is gone, you can keep this in a Ziploc bag, take it to work, take it out of your desk, and just like have your cat with you all the time. And if you're really excitable, you know, put them on sticks. Have, have puppet shows with your coworkers. No one's going to think you're weird, and no one's going to judge you. Not here, anyway. Because on Tharp World, dreams come true. All dreams, even bad ones. So I would like to just end with that and thank all of you for joining me. And don't forget, next week and every week, for the foreseeable future at 6 o'clock, Tharp World happens, and you are welcome to join me while I make some strange art here at the Compound Gallery. Until then,
you have detail, then don't put it on top of something that has a lot of lines because the lines will print right through it. So now what's last, lastly, I'm just going to use my hand to wipe away a little bit of remaining ink where I want to see more detail. I want to see that special that Kmart sign over here. No, it's like a, but it's a special K. Special K is what it is. That looks really cool. So this part's really, you can see that most of the ink has been wiped away, but this part's really heavy over here. And I like that. So I'm going to leave it. I don't want to like, I kind of like where this piece is right now. I like these fingerprints here. I like all of this going on. Add like a little bit more. Kind of these cloud shapes in the, you know, in this kind of dust storm. So I think this looks really good, and I'm going to I'm going to make this little our our plate. I also want to put the cats on it now. Like I kind of like the way it looks on its own, but it's the cat show. It's the cat theme show, so I'm going to put cats on it. If we overdo it, we overdo it. No big deal, right? So we put our our plate right on top. This is going to be a really inky one, real dark, but look how cool that is. Oh, I think I just messed that. It's getting messier. Let me wipe that off. It's going to be on our paper. I don't know what to do with the clay. Okay. And let's put our kitty pictures on there. I like this one to be like in the foreground. Yeah. There's not as many kitty pictures in this one, but that's okay. These are, it'll be just kind of a strange, kind of abstract. Also, we can go in afterward and color and draw and add things, which is the best part about printing on this watercolor paper is it's pretty strong. And you can add all kinds of other me uh, media on top. Okay, and that's good. Hold up my paper. Here. How are we doing on time? It's good. <laughs> we'll just print this one and we'll. We'll call it a day. <laughs> Do I have everything? Okay, yeah. <gasps> oh my god. You guys as viewers don't know this, but Lena just gave a day. I almost forgot to sprinkle the seasoning onto my cat. That would have been horrible. Observe. I get so excited. I, don't wanna, I just want to print so badly, and then I just forget to put the wheat paste on. If I don't do this, there will be no cat. And 
all throughout the land there will be tears and sadness. My inky finger. Uh oh, look at that one's already. Look at this one already wanted to like hang out. Probably stays in there. The, Cap the Tharp World National Hero honored at the Tharp World Parade of Caps is, is Lena for saving the entire parade so that it didn't blow away. If it wasn't for her, all of the cat floats would have just like blown off into the desert and everyone would just be like, oh, I guess it's, should we go home? We should just leave, like, feel uncomfortable for everyone. That's what it would have been like. Everybody would have just slowly, like, walked to their cars and just gone home and watched, watched some Game of Thrones or something and just, like, try to forget what happened. Can you give us a little push for me? Gracias. Finger puppets already got me like I'm just like so distracted. I'm like I can't wait to can't wait to get back to the cat finger puppets and play the little play structure that I created. <laughs> Sometimes it gets weird on that one. We just have fun. We have lots of fun. One time I had this Victorian book and they like posed all the cats and put them in outfits. It's really disturbing, and this kind of reminds me of it, just in the way like the fine lines and like the the little kind of washed out colors of the cats. I mean, they're not in outfits, but th there's something really weird about doing that with cats. I think because cats like would never tolerate it. I don't know how they made them do it. Okay, so I'm excited to see the second one. It looks a little off center. I'm just really excited to see. Whoa, this one's really psychedelic. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. This one's really psychedelic, don't you think so? This one's weird. This one's really weird. I don't even know how to explain this, but I really like it. Whoa, look at how dark and blue the cat's eyes are. So this is, this is weirder than I expected, but I, I think it's really great. And it's got my fingerprints all over it, but I don't care. It's, it's awesome. So this happened today on Tharp World. It, it got strange. It was like the birthday episode with cats and with, with all the love and all the sticks collected in Berkeley and just everything. So I think we're going to call it a day. I think we've done enough work and experienced enough joy that we can stop and leave while the party is still fun. But before we do, let's bring back the puppets. I've had a request all the way up. So when you're sad, which is probably a lot of the time, um, go and, and create something with the cat's fur so that not only when the cat is gone, you can keep this in a Ziploc bag, take it to work, take it out of your desk, and just like have your cat with you all the time. And if you're really excitable, you know, put them on sticks. Have, have puppet shows with your coworkers. No one's going to think you're weird, and no one's going to judge you. Not here, anyway. Because on Tharp World, dreams come true. All dreams, even bad ones. So I would like to just end with that and thank all of you for joining me. And don't forget, next week and every week, for the foreseeable future at 6 o'clock, Tharp World happens, and you are welcome to join me while I make some strange art here at the Compound Gallery. Until then, 